Are you determined? What does your willpower say about you? Okay, now this question is another one of those meditative questions that you have to bring to your awareness at some point because your willpower is what literally makes your manifestations stronger, okay? If you don't have the willpower to succeed, you're gonna notice that there comes a lot of resistance for you to fail and you can easily absorb that vibration, okay? So are you determined to get what you want? And that's what's really gonna open up the doors for you in terms of manifestation. If you're new to the channel, my name is Excel Carasquillo. Welcome to the Onto High community. In this channel, we talk about Reiki, energy medicine, ascension, and so much more. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share below so you don't miss anything that's coming out in this channel. Willpower is something that a lot of people don't really talk to you about. A lot of times, willpower is like this hocus pocus thing. Like you have to have like super strong mental dexterity, but really willpower comes down to like an extreme belief or like even a, a level of stubbornness at times. I'm an Aries, I do not take no for an answer and I'm super impatient, okay? If you're an Aries, you know my fire, you know the feel. If you're a fire sign, you still get it. So one of the things being an Aries has really taught me in this incarnation is like my own stubbornness is part of my success. My own like determination is part of my own success, right? Like. Um, sometimes I don't even have an answer as to how I'm gonna make something happen, but I said, I want that, I'm going to have it. It's going to happen. I don't know how it's gonna happen, but it's gonna happen. And I just hold that perception that like, I must have what is going to be manifested in my mind and it's going to happen. There's no room for interpretation. There's no room for shifting it. It's going to happen. I let go of how it's going to happen. Okay, but I know that the end goal is always going to be there for me. Okay, so a great example is if I want to scale my business to a certain point, right? I want to scale my business a um, hundred thousand followers or a hundred thousand impact um, over the next year, right? Year and a half. I'm going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on growing the community a hundred thousand plus members in the next year. Focus, 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 focus. Nothing's gonna take me away from this. Nothing's gonna take me away from this. This is gonna happen. No matter what, this is gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen. It's gotta happen because that's how the universe works. It's already mine. It's here. I'm embodying it. I already have it. It's all good. And I keep having that vibration. How that all comes into play, I give it the, the amount of flexibility it needs. It might come through a friend that I end up like teaming up with. It might come through a, a random TikTok video that I make that I was like, ah, that was a crappy TikTok, but everybody in the world seems to really like it, right? You have to give yourself this opportunity to say, my determination is the thing that I'm creating. I'm going to put my everything towards that particular vibration and I'm gonna go towards it no matter what. And I've talked about different ways where you can really focus with your determination and your willpower towards the things that you want. But one of the main things here that you always, always, always have to like consider, especially as a shaman, I think this is one of the first things that we learn as, as shamans. I'm a lifelong shaman and I've been doing it you know, forever. One of the first things you need to learn is how to say that you're gonna create something and stick to it. Now, determination is also like self-practice, right? Like if you if you know that to in order for you to become a millionaire, you need to wake up at 5 a.m., you need to have a specific ritual, you need to start doing specific things, your determination is part of your willpower to make sure those things are being done every day, right? Like willpower is not this flexible thing that ends up changing with your manifestations unless you're inconsistent. If you, your willpower for a week and a half is saying, I'm gonna become super rich, and then the next week and a half is, oh, well, I'm just gonna like, you know, spend all the money. You don't have determination. You're, you might be seeing manifestations coming in and out, but you're not being consistent. Therefore, you're not creating over the long haul of your reality. So one of the things I, I was doing when I was a kid, and I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm living a manifestation, multiple manifestations that I created when I was a kid. When I was about like seven or eight years old, I said to myself, I'm going to be the Shaman King. I'm gonna become the Shaman King. At that time, I did not know 
that that was even a possibility. I didn't know how that was gonna happen. I didn't, I didn't have an idea of it, but my heart said, I'm going to be the shaman king. And as I started getting older, I kept thinking about that. That was like, I'm gonna become a shaman king. I'm gonna become a shaman king. I'm the shaman king, I'm the shaman king. At some point it changed into like, I'm gonna become a rock star. I'm gonna be a rock star. I'm gonna be super famous. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. And I kept holding that image. It changed progressively as I was getting older. It started off with the Shaman King, turned into a rock star, turned into being really famous, turned into wanting to be like a, a DJ that was really well known, and then came back around to being an energy healer, like a shaman, shamanic energy healer, the best shaman healer in the world. As I was holding on to that, I started seeing it happen. It wasn't always easy for me to hold on to that willpower because of course you're still living your life, right? You're still dating people, you're still learning who you are, you're still becoming more advanced at the things that you're doing. But I kept that image in the forefront of my mind and I kept following it however it is that I needed to follow it. And because of it, I was able to play as a DJ and as a musician in really, really profitable places with in places that I never thought I would be able to play because you had to be invited to those locations, stuff like that. And I started seeing how my, when eventually I, I produced Quantum Reiki for the world, that blew up, that made me globally famous. I started doing YouTube and TikTok and here I am, I'm talking to you. I'm giving you this story. I am a product of, a eight-year-old's manifestation, okay? And that was how determined as a kid I was that this was going to be my reality. And it had to change in a bunch of different ways for me to get here. And even from here, 20 years from now, it might have changed. Maybe I'll, I'll be the most famous shamanic writer that there is in the world, right? Or I'll be the most uh, you know, well-renowned scientist for a specific something. Who knows what it's gonna be? But I have that that image of I'm going to the going to be the best valuable gift to this planet. And I keep it in my mind's eye. I point here because I'm keeping it in my third eye and I'm focusing on that and I'm bringing my heart in alignment with that and I'm getting closer to it every day. Some days are easier than others. That's okay. As long as I never shake my determination, as long my, as my willpower will not be shaken, I will have my manifest. I know I will because that's my will. And a lot of times when we're talking about energy medicine and energy work and alchemy, alchemy is the science of consciousness, it's the chemistry of consciousness, the recipe that creates realities, right? We, the, every recipe has a different set of ingredients. Alchemy is the same way you have to have this consciousness level of like your alchemy is coming back down to how determined you are a lot of times people are not that determined and that's why they don't see the results that they want especially a great example is when you're going to weight loss there comes a moment where like when you start working out and stuff like you lose a lot of weight and it looks great and you're like yes i see it you sexy 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 beast right and you're feeling it and then all of a sudden you hit this like midway point where it feels like you're doing all the workouts you're doing everything and you're not losing weight anymore you're not seeing the results that you originally saw and when you're working out and you hit that point where you're not seeing the results a lot of people end up quitting they're like oh this workout stuff is just bs oh, i'm not gonna do it anymore it doesn't work for me anymore or it was working and i don't have time to to modify when really all you have to do is keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going towards what you really really want and then all of a sudden you'll lose another 10, 15 pounds out of nowhere. Like it just dropped off of you. And if your body is a great example as to willpower, right? And how you can use willpower to shape your own body, shaping reality with your willpower is no different. It's just a matter of whether or not you're going to do it, right? Do you want it bad enough? Whenever your willpower deters, you need to ask yourself, did I really want this bad enough where my willpower is gonna be shaken? And if your willpower can still be shaken, then you should stop going after that manifest because you didn't want it that bad. Nothing will always come to you easily. A lot of things will come to you easily when you start learning how to manifest your consciousness, but you're still always gonna hit a block here and there where you have to reshape your consciousness. You have to think in a new way and you need to refocus your willpower. Sometimes your willpower is a why. 
Like, why are you still doing these things? Like, why are you here? Why, what is the necessity for this, right? And that'll be one of the contemplations of your willpower. But you need to find a way to become so determined that no one, no one can take anything from you ever again. So when you're working with one of your clients in terms of Reiki as well, you got to see, you have to find a way to gauge their willpower. One of the things that I like to do with a lot of my clients when I first work with them in terms of energy healing is I'll say, okay, you want this result. You say you want to become more happy. You want to bring more love into your life. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to get there? If a client says, well, I mean, what does that mean? They're not, they don't have the determination of the willpower. So then I, I will downgrade what we're doing because they're not ready to embrace that shift, right? If the person's like, yeah, no, definitely, I'm ready to, I'll do whatever. You just tell me what I gotta do and I'll do it. I'll do whatever the cosmos wants me to do to get to that next level. By having that answer right there alone, then you know that person is gonna have a more transformative experience. Your client is always going to be part of the alchemy or the energy medicine that's happening. A lot of times healers want to take upon themselves the savior complex. I have to save this person. I have to do everything for this person without this person doing anything. That's not true. This person is a set of alchemy. It's a recipe. The person that you're dealing with is a set of recipes and they have to be willing to change those recipes with their determination and their willpower so that they can get a different result or a different dish out of the oven at the end of the day, right? So you need to really keep these in the forefront of your mind. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. And if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, or you're looking to join our academy so you can become an ascended master, a master psychic, a shaman, or the best divine light worker that you know you're supposed to be showing up as, check out the links in the description below. Everything you need to join our communities and to work with me is down there. And I'll catch you in our next video. Sending you all love.